Pet Talk, brought to you by Grange Co-op. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. It is time for our Pet Talk segment. And with me, I have Ken from the Southern Oregon Humane Society and Piper. Piper, our little Pied Piper, Yankee Doodle Dandy Piper, whatever <laughs> you want to say. This is a beauty. He's an eight-year-old uh, miniature schnauzer, which is one of America's favorite breeds. So it is. Uh, people use uses him. He is a classic example of the breed. He's in excellent shape. He's just the right size. He's got this beautiful beard and that great face. He is, and he does little tricks. When he was walking in here, you said, sit, and he sat right away. Yep, yep. He, he's got good manners. He's, a guy, he's good on the leash. Um, same family for all eight years, so now he's with us, and we'll find him a new home. Um, awesome. He's pretty low-key. Um, okay. I could see him, you know what, when he jumps up in the truck with me, he just goes to the passenger seat and sort of lays down, and he's ready to rock and roll. Uh, he spent right. some time in my office just laying on the floor, Perfect. really well mannered. So Good Piper guy. would be a great fit for probably a lot of families. He would, he would. Awesome. And um, you know, you see these little ears, I want to talk about ears today because it's the 4th yes. of July. Yes, it is the 4th of July and Ken, we were talking about uh, maybe some precautions that you want to take uh, because of fireworks and loud noises. Right, because dogs hearing is so much better than ours. We hear up to what's called 20,000 hertz. Dogs hear up to 60,000 hertz. Wow. And that's why when dog whistles are silent, they hear it, but if the pitch goes too high, it's painful. The loud noises scare them. So um, do not take your dog to the fireworks, to outdoor fireworks. Okay. You might think it's fun, it's a big family event. It will not be fun for the dog. Um, try to put them in an interior room, as okay. far away from doors as windows you can get. If you've got a kennel and they like their kennel, Kennels are a comfort zone, put them in the kennel. And I always recommend that you take a dirty t-shirt, yours or one of the kids, out of the laundry and put it in the kennel. Because okay. scents are very important to dogs right. and they're very comforting. Just so they feel comfortable and maybe feel like you're close by. Correct. Some play some advice. music or turn on the TV, but don't turn on a Western you know, or a Bruce Willis film, but just turn on the TV <laughs> or play some music. Uh, to just help with some background and sort of some white noise sound awesome. to help sort of deflect the loud bangs. And, and remember when those fireworks go up and you hear that, <laughs> that's, yeah, see? See, it's, exactly. It's, but it reaches Good a example. decibel and a, and a hertz, that hurts, you know. Absolutely. Uh, so really think about your dogs. We always find a number of strays on our doorstep the day after the 4th of July because they jumped out of the yard because right. someone, someone thought, well, we'll leave them outside while we're gone or you're inside having a celebration, the dog's outside, fireworks, the neighbors, firecrackers, could be anything, scares the heck out of them. Oh, they jump right. the fence, they're trying to get away from it, and then they get lost, so. Yeah. Just be be prepared. Uh, it is the 4th of July, so make sure you take some of those tips. And also, if you want to go pick up Piper, a very sweet little one, you can just head over uh, to the Southern Oregon Humane Society, or you can head online uh, to their website, www.sohumane.org. 